team a loss from last Thursday night with the Gainesville Bulldogs. Um, we'll get right into the progressive insurance uh, starting lineups for the Forsyth Panthers. We got Tobias Holmes, Drew Cohen, Tyler Strathen, Chris Halbrook, and Jarrett Walls. And for your Mountain Grove Panthers, we got Brylan Mayberry, Peyton Shannon, Gatlin Keeling, Bradley Henry, and Sam Peterson are going to start for the Mountain Grove Panthers tonight as we get underway in the Family Pharmacy Panther Classic year 2024. And I uh, want to take it this time to give a big shout out to Chris and, and Shane and the Family Pharmacy and the Mountain Grove Pharmacy crews for sponsoring one heck of an event. And uh, they do a great job and they support everything that goes on at this high school. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to just say thank you to them because without them and other great sponsors, uh, we couldn't do what we do. And they're getting ready for the starting in lineups here, and we're getting ready to get underway with a matchup. Panthers reeling a little bit, looking for a win. Um, earlier tonight, we saw Hartville roll over Willow and Norwood inch by licking. So on Thursday night at 7 o'clock, Hartville and Norwood will play in one semifinal game and at Thursday at 4, Willow will play Licking in the consolation bracket. And uh, we're moving to the bottom half of the bracket. It's going to be Mountain Grove against Forsyth. And then Liberty, the number three seed, against Marshfield at 8.30 tonight. We're getting underway a little early as, uh, as uh, we had a little turbo clock action in the first game. And uh, that put us ahead of schedule. That doesn't usually happen. Um, I'll tell you, uh, hospitality room, fantastic ribs and everything down there um, catered in here by Country Mart, and we all know how good their food is. Uh, just can't wait for Thursday night as we get ready to get underway here with the tip-off. And uh, Cohen is going to jump it in the middle with Henry. As Forsyth Panthers, Panthers versus Panthers. The ball's up. Panthers control the tip. And that's the Mountain Grove Panthers. Keeling has it. Now he gives it over to Mayberry. Mayberry I'm from the left side. Holds it over his head. Looking somewhere to go. Tries to go underneath the Keeling. The ball hits off of a Forsyth Panther, but it's going to stay with Forsyth. Forsyth un underneath it to Marcus Holmes. He's bringing it up slowly. He kicks it to Cohen. Over in the corner, over in the corner to Stenham. And the ball, they travel underneath or commit a foul. It's a pushing foul, legal screen underneath. So Panthers get the turnover. Henry to Mayberry, over to Keelan. Keeling looking to bring it across the timeline. He's going coast to coast. Gets it down low to Henry. Henry off the board and in. And Panthers strike first. Here comes Holmes. He kicks it down in the corner. Long three, no good. Big rebound by Mayberry. Mayberry has it tipped away. And the Forsyth Panther steps on the end line. Trying to get these numbers down as Mayberry will key the inbounds in front of the scores desk. Two nothing Panthers, first quarter just underway. Shannon has it, kicks it back to Mayberry. Mayberry directing traffic out there, gets it over to Shannon. In the corner to Henry. Henry with a three up, off the front arm, no good. Peterson with the rebound. Henry puts it back in, no good. Rebound by Cohen, but stole by Peterson. And I thought a foul down low, but no call. Walls is going to inbound it. He gets it to Holmes. It looks like everything goes through Holmes here for Forsyth. Holmes dribbles between his legs, drives in, kicks it to Cohen. Cohen 
Kicks it over in the corner. Shot up by Hallbrook. No good. Rebound by Mayberry. Mayberry on the run. Kicks it off to Keeling. Keeling lays it in. Good dish by Mayberry. Forsyth gets it way back. They kick it to Stenham. Stenham up with a shot on the baseline. Good. Shannon. Full court press. They get it down low, and we overthrow Sam Peterson at the other end. And the first sub's going to come into the game for Forsyth, and that's going to be Phoenix Maloney. And he's coming in. He's coming in for Tyler Stanham. Here comes Holmes. Holmes gets it across the timeline. Kicks it over to Cohen. Cohen back to Holmes. Holmes down low to Hallbrook. Hallbrook drives in, kicks it back out. Kicks it to Maloney. And Maloney travels. Good defense there by Peyton Shannon. Panthers get the ball. Four to three is your score. Early first quarter. Panthers on top. And I mean the Mountain Grove Panthers. Mayberry has it. Kicks it to Shannon. Shannon, good pass in low to Peterson. Peterson off the board and in. Six to three. Here comes Holmes. Forsyth doesn't slow down. Holmes drives it in the paint. Jump step up. Off the front iron. No good. The ball's going to go to the Panthers. Ball tipped around underneath the basket. Shannon gets it into Mayberry. Mayberry down to Keeling real quick. Keeling up. No good. Peterson's there for the putback. Should have been fouled. Here comes Holmes. Forsyth, he can't rest on him. Holmes, shake and bake. Out front, gets it over to Maloney. Maloney puts it in, jump step. Gets it back to Holmes. Holmes drives it in the paint. Gets it over to Cohen. Puts it up, off the back iron, no good. And Walls is going to be called on the back. Panthers get the basketball, and that's number two on Forsyth Panthers. Eight to three, your score here. Timeout as 14... Cohen goes to the bench. Jenkins checks in. And Bearden checks in for Walls. Here comes Keeling on the right side. Keeling kicks it back. He gets it in to Mayberry. Mayberry goes in. They call a charge. Don't like that. Mayberry shake and bake out front and put it on the floor and took it to the rack. Here comes Holmes. Holmes brings it up slowly, dribbles between his legs, gets it into Jenkins. Jenkins over and a push down low, and that's going to go on Henry. No, excuse me. I think that's Shannon. No, it'll be Henry. One on Henry. Brody Emery's going to check in for Shannon, the young freshman. He's on Maloney. They kick it over in the corner. That's Strayan. Check back in. Oh, tipped out by Mayberry. It's going to remain with the Forsyth Panthers. Eight to three, your score here, midway through the first. They get it in. Jenkins. He dribbles in the paint, kicks it over to Maloney. Puts it up. Air ball, nothing. Rebounded by Jenkins. And they say he stepped on the inbounds. Panther basketball. Mountain Grove, that is. Shell, or excuse me, Emery. He's going to key the inbounds. He, he gets it over. He gets it to Bradley Henry. And he goes in, they're going to call Emery for a walk as he takes it coast to coast. They don't like the call. Stenham has it. He brings it up, kicks it over to Jenkins. Jenkins gets it to Maloney. Back to Hallbrook. Over to Maloney. Maloney kicks it out to Stanhouse. Stanhouse misses. They kick it over to Henry. Henry, down low, gets it to Peterson, but off his hands and out of bounds, and the, Bear, and the Panthers turn it over. Eight to three, still your score. 352 left here in the first. Bearden keys the inbounds. Gets it into Strahan. 
Straw hand gets it to Jenkins. Jenkins gets it over to Maloney. Maloney kicks it to Hallbrook. Hallbrook kicks it back to Maloney. Maloney over to Jenkins. Forsyth, good defense by the Panthers. They kick it to Stenham. Down low to Hallbrook. He drives in, and he's going to get the bucket. No, they're going to say he was on the floor. No bucket. They'll throw it in underneath. Destin Unger checks in for Keeling. Holmes checks back. Holmes and Cohen check back in for the Forsyth Panthers. Holmes is going to key the inbounds under the basket. He gets it over to Strawhouse. They get it into Cohen. Cohen puts up a short jumper, and it's in. Eight to five. Here come the Panthers. Mayberry. Had Peterson open. Mayberry kicks it way out to Emery. Emery over to Henry. Henry way out top. Gets it over to Emery. Emery into Peterson. Over to Unger. Back to Emery. Emery puts up a shot. No good. Peterson with the offensive board. Puts it up. He's hammered. And Sam will go to the line and shoot two. 2.54 left. 8-5 the lead for the Mountain Grove Panthers. Good ball movement that time. Sam up with the first one and in. Nine to five. Peterson's been open underneath. Couple big offensive rebounds. Sam with a second shot up and good. Nothing but net. And here comes the sub as Carson Allen comes in. Don't know who went out there. I think it was Peterson. So Carson Allen checks in for Sam. Here comes Holmes. Holmes in the front court. Gets it over to Cohen. Cohen puts it on the floor. Gets it to Maloney. Back to Holmes. Holmes launches a three. In and out. No good. Rebound by Emery. Fires down to Mayberry. Mayberry up and in. Should have been fouled. 12 to 5 here. Panthers putting on a show. Holmes. These Forsyth Panthers only have lost two. <laughs> Excuse me. Holmes slows it down out front. He kicks it to Maloney. Down low to Cohen. Cohen turns, puts it up, and in. And Cohen's done all the damage so far. 12 to 7. Good fake by Mayberry. He gets it across the timeline, drives it in. Great dish to Carson Allen, and Holmes comes in and rejects it. What a pass by Mayberry. And I'll tell you, Holmes was a flying dervish. Mahoney checks out. Holbrook checks back in. Henry has it, stops, pops from three. Nothing but net. 15 to seven. The Panther student section likes that. Here comes Holmes. Holmes kicks it over to Holbrook. Holbrook off the back iron, rebound Unger. Here comes Henry. Henry across the timeline, gets it to the middle of the court, brings it back out. He has Holbrook on him, gets it to Mayberry. Mayberry puts it on the floor, drives it in, up. No good. Allen's there for the rebound. And he's poked in the eye, and they call a jump ball. And Unger's going to go out. Keeling's going to check in. Unger with a good minutes. The arrow points towards Forsyth. Holmes brings it up to Marcus Holmes. He puts it on the floor, picks up his dribble, gets it to Cohen. Cohen's hurt us so far. He loses control. Panthers can't get it. Picked up by Holbrook. Over to Holmes. Back to Holbrook. Holbrook on the right side, trying to go in bounds. Good steal there. And they're going to get May. No, Mayberry got the steal, hit the floor, and they call timeout. And as they take a timeout, so will we to hear a word from our great sponsors on the home of Panther basketball, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. And we have a foul over the, there. And that's going to be on Strahan. Strahan fouls Keeling. As Keeling lost control of it for a minute, but Strahan blasted into him. Now Mayberry's going to key the inbounds in front of Forsyth's bench. 15 to 7 here, Panthers way. Mountain Grove. A lazy pass by Emery. Holbrook has it, and he takes it all the way and lays it in. 15-9 now. Here comes Mayberry. Holbrook's fouling him all the way, riding him like a horse. He gets it over to Emery. Emery down low to Allen. Allen with a head fake up. No good. Strahan has the rebound. He goes in the corner to Holmes. Holmes launches a three. Off the back iron. No good. Cohen tips it up and in. Cohen has all but two of their points. Here comes Allen. Allen kicks it down to Emory. Emory with a jump stop up. Back arm, no good. Mayberry with the rebound. He pulls it out and sets it up. It's been fast and furious. 15-11. 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Mayberry with a spin move. Has it. How do he keep it? Emory up and in. With six seconds left. <laughs> I don't know how he kept it. Here comes Holmes. Holmes all the way. Gets it over to Cohen. Cohen puts up a three. Nothing but net. We go into the second quarter with the Panthers leading 17 to 14. We'll be back with more Panther basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. We're at the Family Pharmacy Panther Classic. Panthers from Mountain Grove taking on the Forsyth Panthers. Start of the second quarter. Henry launches up a three, in and out. No good rebound there by Keeling. He puts it up, but no good. And Holmes steps on the inbounds. Panthers get a break. Forsyth turns it over. 7.47 left just underway. Second quarter, 17-14 Mountain Grove. Mayberry's going to key the inbounds, gets it to Shannon. Shannon drives in the butt lane, has it blocked away. Holbrook has it. Nobody down there. He's going to go up and in and cut the lead to one, 17-16. Shannon kicks it in. He gets it back. Henry gives it back to him. He drives the middle into Carson Allen, up and in. Wasn't, wasn't pretty, but worked. 19-16. Here comes Holmes. Holmes gets it down quick as a hiccup. Puts it up to Cohen, in and out, no good. Big rebound by Allen. Allen gets it over to, to Shannon. Shannon to Mayberry, Mayberry drives the middle of the court, kicks it over to Henry. Henry drives the baseline, waves in. Oh, and tries to dish it under to Keeling. Keeling wasn't ready. 19-16, just underway second quarter. Cohen's gonna trigger the inbounds for the Forsyth Panthers. Cohen has been the dagger so far, Holmes. Walks it up. Holmes, the point guard, just a sophomore. He gets it across the timeline. Gets, gets it into Jenkins. Jenkins acts like a scared rabbit, but gets it back to Holmes. Jenkins has it. He has Sam on him. Gets it over to Holbrook. Back to Holmes. Holmes puts it on the floor. Dribbles between his legs. Likes to dribble. He puts it out. Good read by Shannon. Shannon on the move. Drives it in. Puts up a reverse layup. No good. Maloney has the rebound from Forsyth. Kicks it down low to Hasselbrook. No good. Sam Peterson with the rebound. Here comes Mayberry. 
Mayberry goes in, blocking foul. Woo. We got a break there, 19-16 Panthers. Mayberry goes coast to coast, and I thought he was going to get a charge, but the basketball gods are with us. Mayberry goes to the line to shoot two. 6.20 left here in your second quarter. Mayberry, nothing but net. As two check in, that's going to be Bearden and Stan Strahan. And they check in for Holmes and Cohen. Cohen, the big scorer. Mayberry up with a second and good. 21-16, Mountain Grove. Here comes Strahan. Strahan dribbles between his legs. Strahan goes to the right side, kicks it back to Jenkins. Jenkins, Jenkins puts it on the floor, back to Strahan. Gets it over in the corner to Maloney. Maloney spins, drives in, has it up, off the board and in, and he just split two Mountain Grove defenders. 21-18. Henry gets it to Shannon. Shannon kicks it over to a wide open Peterson, and he banks it in. 23-18. Here come the Forsyth Panthers. Stone them. Puts it in. Good rebound there by Mayberry, and he was axed. That's going to be Panther basketball. See who they call the foul on. That's going to be on Hallbrook. That's just one on him. Henry's going to key the inbounds. Keeling goes and takes a break. Destin Unger checks in. And Henry's not ready for it as Mayberry throws it to him. Gets it down to Strahan. He runs over Mayberry. Puts it up. No good. Big rebound by Unger. Gets it to Mayberry. He has Peterson down low, puts it in. DeVries, who's checked in off the front iron, no good, but Unger has the offensive rebound. Gets it to Mayberry. What a move by Mayberry, and they call a travel. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness, Coach O can't believe it. Either can I. I know nobody can believe that. Oh, my goodness, what a move by Mayberry. That was for the highlight reel. Holmes. Walks it up. He gets it over to Cohen, who's checked back in. Cohen gets it to Strahan. Over in the corner to Holmes. Holmes gets it to Bearden. Bearden way out front. Gets it over to Strahan. In and out. No good. Holmes should have been called for a foul on his back. And then Unger is hacked. No call down there, but they do give the ball to the Panthers. Mountain Grove, that is, 23-18. Mayberry, Henry keys the inbound. Mayberry has it. And they get it down to Peterson. Peterson back to Mayberry. Mayberry to DeVries. DeVries up and <laughs> nails it. Trace had a good, good second half of the season. Here comes Holmes. Over to Cohen. Cohen walks. No call. Coach O can't believe it. They get it down to Bearden. Bearden to Holmes. Holmes, has Mayberry cuts him off into Cohen. Cohen puts it up. No good. Big rebound by Peterson. Over to Mayberry. Mayberry with a great ball fake, and he's hammered. And he'll go shoot two. 26-18. I'll tell you, these Panthers, they're inspiring me. Playing good basketball. And there's a timeout. And as they take a timeout, so will we. We need one. On the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Country 99, 418 left in this second quarter. Panthers up 26-18 over the number two seed Forsyth Panthers. Man got merch here. He's filling in, running a solo mission. I'm here with Tim. Tim's working the game with me, running the camera, doing all the audio, all the computer stuff that I'm 
so well inept to do as Mayberry goes to the line to shoot the first one up off the back iron, no good. Mayberry's played a good first half. All the Panthers have. A lot of effort, a lot of diving on the floor, a lot of loose balls. He puts the second one up, nothing but net. Here comes Holmes. Holmes drives the baseline, cut off. Holbrook puts up a three, in and out, no good. Rebound by Cohen, how did he get it? He puts it up, man, no, but they back over there. And that was Strahan with the putback. You can't let him have three shots, 27-20. Oh, and a bad pass there. And a blocking foul on Destin Unger. And a bad pass. It didn't even act like Destin knew it was coming. And a timeout. Or Emery's going to check in for Trace DeVries. He's given good minutes off the bench. Came in and knocked down a big three. Unger's going to check back out as Keeling checks in. So your five on the floor for the Panthers are going to be Allen, he checks in for Peterson. Keeling. Henry. Shannon and Emery. As we, Holmes has it out front. Keeling all over him. Cohen stops, pops, off the front iron, no good. Rebounded by Walls, no good, but Stray ends there again. We got to get do better on the boards. Here comes Henry, 27-22. Breaks the timeline, crossover dribble, kicks it in the corner to Emery. Emery up with a shot, no good. Rebounded by Maloney. Maloney brings it up the right side. He kicks it down low. That's Jenkins. Jenkins, good pass into Walls. Walls puts it up, no good. Rebound by Emery. Emery gets it to Henry. Good pass there by Emery. Henry drives the baseline, spin move, and he's fouled. And I think that's Cohen. See what we got. Cohen, who's been a one-man wrecking crew. Yep, that's his second. Here with 2.49 left. 27-22 Mountain Grove leads. Henry at the line to shoot two. Puts up the first one and makes it. 28-22 here. Man, this has been a fast and furious th game nonstop. Henry puts up the second, in and out, no good. Keeling's going to run down the rebound. He tries to get it over to wide open. Emory can't. Cohen steals, and he carries it and turns it over. Panther basketball. Good play there, and, and Keeling Gatlin tried to get it to Brody Emory. He was wide open under the basket. Turned it over. Mayberry. Cuts it through traffic. Gets it down low to Keeling. There you go, Gatlin. 30 to 22. Here comes Holmes. Holmes puts it on the floor. Drives in the paint. Kicks it out to Strahan. Strahan with a floater. No good. Rebound kick to Henry. Henry kicks it over to Keeling. Keeling has it blocked by Holmes. And if you don't think that boy's got hops, I got news for you. He swats it out of bounds. Man. I'd last about a minute and 15 seconds in this pace. Mayberry kicks it out to Henry. Henry way out front, puts it on the floor, kicks it over to Emery. Emery kicks it over in the corner to Mayberry. Mayberry, oh, throws it away. May Emery zigged when he should have zagged. And they're trying to talk out there. 30 to 22, 204 left here in the first half. Walls is kicking the kicking into Holmes. Old West Plains coach Doug Smith down there running the calls for Forsyth. Holmes double dribble, no call. Walls. Walls looking to go. Gets it over to Hallbrook. Hallbrook off the front iron. No good. And we have a foul call. Or it hit the top of the basket. Sam Peterson's going to check in for Emory. Mayberry will key the inbounds. 147 left. He gets it to Mayberry. Mayberry splits all the defense, has it knocked away. He comes up with it. What do we got here? We had a timeout as Mayberry goes to the floor. 
I think is what we got. And as we take a timeout, we're going to send it back to the studio for a word from our sponsors on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Mayberry keys it in to Henry. Henry's hammered, and they got to call it. And you think that's a sure thing, but it's not. Three different refs than the game before. Panthers look, looking to move on. The winner tonight will play at 8.30 on Thursday night. 31-22 with a minute 33 left here in this second quarter. Henry up with his second one. Puts it up. Off the back iron. No good. Rebound by Cohen. Cohen's been a Panther killer. He kicks it in the corner to Strahan. Strahan drives the baseline. It's tipped. Henry has it on the run. Good play there. Henry up and in. And how he made that, I don't know. 33-22, Panthers with their biggest lead. Here comes Holmes. Holmes between his legs, in the paint. Looking for somewhere to go. Good defense by the Panthers. Gets it out to Hallbrook. Hallbrook kicks it over in the corner to Cohen. Cohen with a spin move. Good defense there. But he turns around and makes it, and he just throws it in. 58 seconds left. Carson Allen gets it to Henry. Back to Allen. Over to Mayberry. Mayberry thought about a three. Stops, pops, nothing but net. 35-24. Here comes Holmes. Holmes kicks it over to Cohen. Cohen back to Holmes. Holmes going to slow it down. 35 seconds left. He kicks it over to Strahan to Hallbrook. He drives in. No call. Rebound by Walls. Over to Hallbrook. Hallbrook jump stop in the lane. No good. Rebound by Allen. Allen. Excuse me, Peterson. Peterson gets it to Carson. Both of them on the floor. Mayberry with 11 seconds. He gets around Cohen. Kicks it down low to Keeling. Up and in. What a pass. 37-24. Here comes Holmes. Holmes gets it to Cohen. Cohen steps on the inbounds with .5 seconds and turns it over. 37-24 Panthers with their biggest lead. And they're just gonna let time run out here in the first half. What a half of basketball for the Panthers as they lead the number two seed, Forsyth, 37-24. We'll be back with the State Farm agent Stephen Gum halftime show after a word from our sponsors on the home of Panther basketball. Big Country 
into the game. Made some mistakes that we shouldn't have, and uh, the game got away from us. But uh, tonight, we've got to put two halves together, but the Panthers playing well, I'll tell you. Henry with nine, what I like, Henry with nine, Peterson with eight, Mayberry with eight, Keeling with six, and Carson Allen with two, DeVries with three. I mean, you've just got nine, everybody's contributing, and also on the defensive side. And uh, that that makes for a tough handle. As we got two minutes left before we get, we kick this thing back on. I mean, a minute 59, we're going to get underway in the second second half. I'm Forsyth has not come out from the locker room yet as Liberty is still warming up. Liberty with Mr. Gaines over there averaging close to 30 points a game going to Division I Austin Pay next year, and uh, he's a handful. He can shoot it from anywhere, and he's only big, he's no bigger in a minute, I'll tell you folks. He's fun to watch because he shows that a 5'7 guy can play basketball just like a 6'5 guy can. And that's kind of fun if you're a short guy like me. But the Panthers need to put two halves together as they come out on the court. Forsyth, they get out of the locker room here, and we're getting ready to get underway here with the second court with the second half. Panthers with their biggest lead right at halftime, 13 points. Let's see if we can hold that. Good crowd here for the Family Pharmacy Panther Classic. And uh, great job done. I'll tell you what, uh, always a joy to do this. Uh, great basketball. And it gets, it's fun right before it gets to the point where we got two, three conference games a week with all the bad weather we've had. Excuse me. I don't know about the makeup schedule or anything like that. We'll find out about that on Coach's Corner on Thursday and Friday as we have Coach Mallow in. The girls' games got canceled up at Mansfield tonight. And they're going to play them tomorrow night. Uh, and the fog, and, man, I'll tell you, I was on a back road today, and they, there's still spots where the sun, you know, we had no sunshine today, and even though it got over 40, there's still some slick spots out there, so be careful on the road as we get ready to get underway here in the second half. Panthers with a 13-point lead. Forsyth still in the huddle at their, on their bench. The first buzzer is gone. They're going to start the same group of people they started in the first half. They've got Holmes, Walls, Cohen, Strahan and uh, Hallbrook. And here comes Holmes. He gets it over to Cohen. Cohen's got leading score. Gets it over to Strahan. Back to, Co back to Holmes. Holmes on the right wing. Dribbles into the middle. Gives it to Cohen. Cohen drives in the middle, and he's pushed. They're going to count the bucket and one as he's pushed from behind as he goes in. Cohen, that's number 13 on the night. Chance to make it 14, cut the lead to 10. Cohen, a senior, puts it up and in. 10-point lead for the Panthers, 37-27. Henry has it to Mayberry, up to Shannon. Peyton gets it across the timeline. Drives in the lane, kicks it out to Peterson. Peterson from the corner, nothing but net. 40 to 27, Sam. Here comes Holmes. Holmes kicks it over to Strahan. Strahan back to Holmes. They've done a good job defending Holmes. Back to Hallbrook. Hallbrook in the middle. Over to Cohen. We haven't stopped him. Back to Holmes. Holmes with a spin move. Up and in. That's his first points. Henry. Back to Shannon. They needs to go somewhere to Mayberry. Mayberry has Holmes. And they're going to get Holmes for a foul. Holmes with a foul way back in the backcourt. Nothing you like to see better. 40 to 29. Shannon. 
Back to Mayberry. Just underway, second half. Back to Shannon. Out front. Back to Mayberry. Mayberry. Down in the corner to Henry. Henry puts up a three. Boom! 43-29, and we can't miss. Here comes Holmes. Holmes. Fakes right, goes left. Picks it up, his dribble. Gets it to Cohen, of course. Back to Holmes. Holmes, now he's getting hot. He puts up a three. Here comes Mayberry. Mayberry drives it coast to coast, kicks it to Keeling, gets away from him. Hallbrook recovers, 43-32. And Strahan with a head fake, gets it in. Strahan with his own rebound, and we are getting killed offensively on the offensive boards, and we throw it away. And Coach O just looks with disbelief. 43-34, Estrellan checks out, Maloney checks in, Jenkins checks in, Walsh checks out for Forsyth. And they have the ball down there under their basket. Strahan will key the inbounds. He gets it over to Hallbrook. Hallbrook back to Cohen. Cohen with a head fake way out top. Gets it over to Strahan, over to Hallbrook, kicked out of bounds. They'll say it's going to remain with Forsyth. 43-34 is your score. Panthers with a couple turnovers here in a row. Lob in to Cohen, and Cohen gets fouled by Henry, and he'll go to the line. Or are they going to say it's on the floor? It's on the floor. That's number two on the Panthers. Strahan. Kicks it into Maloney. Maloney puts, goes baseline. Good defense there. Jump ball. Arrow points to the Panthers. Mountain Grove. And uh, good defense by Henry. Henry. Oh, back to Mayberry. And Mayberry, he's, he goes in coast to coast, and he's hammered. <laughs> That'll be three on Cohen if I pick the right guy that fouled. And that'll be a big foul there on the leading scorer for Forsyth. Coach Smith already getting a substitute. And that is, that's three on Cohen. Murphy in attendance tonight. I see the assistant coaches over there as he puts it up. The first one, Mayberry nails it. And I think that's going to be Bearden coming in for Cohen. Holmes is going to check in for Strahan. Mayberry shooting the second. 44-34. He puts it up and in. Nothing but net. Hallbrook gets it into Holmes. Holmes is starting to heat up. Holmes dribbles between his legs. Good defense by Mayberry. Kicks it over in the corner to Maloney. Back to Holmes. Cohen on the bench with three fouls. Kick it over to Jenkins. Back to Maloney. Maloney, back to Jenkins. Jenkins on the left wing, back to Maloney, up top. Maloney dribbles in, gets cut off. Holmes has Mayberry all over him, drives in and knocked out of bounds. Good defense by Brylin. 45-34 your score, 5-12 left here in the third quarter. Panthers on top, Mountain Grove. Holmes. Looking for somebody to go into, gets it into Maloney. Maloney has Shannon on him, no good. Rebound by Mayberry. Mayberry's off to the races. He gets it down to Keeling. Oh, great touch pass into Sam Peterson and up and in. Holy cow, what ball movement. Here comes Holmes. Holmes on the right side. Kick dibbles between his legs, gets it to Mahoney. Maloney puts it up, no good. Rebound Peterson on the way down, gets it to Henry. Great effort by Sam. Here comes Henry. Henry gets it across the timeline. Puts it in the lane. Oh, what a dish to Peterson. Peterson gets his rebound up and in. That's 15 for Sam. Here comes Forsyth. They don't worry about it. Holmes up with a three. No good. Rebound by Shannon. He was accosted, but no call. Down deep. Holmes flew through the air to intercept that one. He gets it over to to Hallbrook, Hallbrook in and out, no good, Mayberry. And Mayberry's hammered by Jenkins 
and they get him. He's hit right in the mouth. I mean, there's some slugging going on down there. And the thing is, you don't know if they're going to call or not. Forsyth calls a timeout, and as they take a timeout, we'll take a timeout and hear a word from our great sponsors on the home of Panther basketball, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports. Big Country 99-410 left in the third quarter. Panthers up 49-34. Brody Emery keys the inbounds. He has it. Driving in the lane. Put stops. Pops off the board. No good. Rebound by Jenkins. Jenkins is going to bring it up. Holmes isn't out there. Back to Jenkins. Jenkins stops. Pops. Blocked. Emery with the rebound. Kicks it down to Keeling. Keeling all alone up and in. 51-34 Panthers. Down low to Holbrook. Holbrook almost walks, throws it right to Henry. Henry's gonna have a layup up and in. Oh my, oh my. Cohen, the wheels have come off since Cohen sat down. Here comes Strahan. 53-34, almost a 19 point lead for the Panthers. Forsyth who? Here comes Holbrook. Up. And in, got to cut him off. Emery fires it into Henry. Henry gets it across the timeline. Henry, oh, he's hammered from behind, no call. But the Panthers retain the basketball. 3.06 left, 53-36 Panthers. Mayberry going to key the inbounds. Walls checks in, Cohen comes back in with three fouls. Holmes comes back in, all of them back. Mayberry, Mayberry gets it over to Unger who's checked in. Back to Henry, Henry pulls it out top. Henry, he's fouled as he tries to drive to the basket and that's four on Forsyth. Let's see who they get. That's four on Cohen and look out here. That's a huge foul right there in this game. 53-36 inside to Carson Allen, up and in. What a dish by Mayberry. Holmes to Holbrook. Holbrook puts it on the floor, has it knocked away by Unger. Good defense, Cohen, stop, pop, off back iron. Henry has Unger, him and Unger, Unger. <laughs> Unger bobbled it. And he was going out of bounds, and he had to get rid of it. 55-36. You got to love it. You got to love it. 238 left here in this third quarter. On the court for the Panthers, Carson Allen, Brody Emery, Bradley Henry, Destin Unger, Brylon Mayberry. They get it to Holmes. Holmes over to Hallbrook. Hallbrook on the right wing. Gets it to Walls. Walls gets it down low to Hallbrook, and Unger swats him. I think he's going to pick up a foul. The foul's going to be on Destin, I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's his second. Hallbrook goes the line. He puts up the first off the front iron. No good. Score remains 55-36, Mountain Grove. Hallbrook puts up his second. In and out, no good. Allen with a great rebound. Gets it over to Mayberry. Mayberry behind his back. Gets it in. Oh, what a dish to Emory. Emory has it swatted. They're going to call foul. See who they get there. Cohen, they've got him out with four. That's going to be on Walls. That's his third. Up by Emery off the back iron, no good. 55-36 is your score. DeVries is going to check in for Carson. 
Trace had a good first half, hit a big three. Emory up with a second, off the back iron, no good. Rebound Walls, gets it over to Holmes. Holmes gets it in the corner to Strahan. Strahan stiff arms, DeVries, and they call a foul on Trace. I didn't think you could use your stiff arm in basketball. I'll have to talk to Merch about that rule. We got a push. Who's that going to be on? It's on Unger. That's going to be Destin's third. That's the fifth. So Walls will go to the line and shoot two for Forsyth. 2.10 left, 55-36 is your score. Walls puts up his first, off the back iron, no good. Keeling's going to check in for Unger. So on the court, you got Mayberry, Keeling, Emery, Henry, and DeVries. Second one is in, 55-37. Here come the Panthers, full court press, no pat foul. And now they finally get a foul. And I think that's gonna be on Strahan. And they could call foul on every possession. I mean, they look like they are hacking. Emery goes to the line here. That's four on walls. He's getting ready to come out. Emery makes his first. 56-37, trying to make it 20-point lead. Puts it up. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound, Hallbrook. Hallbrook behind his back. Has Henry try to steal it. He goes, drives. I thought he took an extra step. No good. Jenkins gets the rebound. He's fouled by Emery. And we've had a succession of fouls underneath the hoop. Peyton Shannon getting ready to check in. Coach Smith talking to Hallbrook over there. Jenkins puts up his first one, and it goes in. Shannon comes in. Emory checks out. Jenkins up with his second, and it's good. 56-39. Henry has it. Full court press. Shannon looking for a place to go. Good play by Henry. What a pass down to Keeling. Keeling on the baseline. Gets it to Mayberry. Mayberry way in the corner. Puts it on the ground. Dribbles through traffic. What a pass to Shannon. And he dribbles in the inbounds. He couldn't handle it. What a pass. You got to have your head on a swivel when you get it from Mayberry. Because he sees the whole court. Here comes Holmes. Holmes. Brings it down. Gets it over to Jenkins. Jenkins gets it. And a shot, no good. Rebound Mayberry, and he is mad. He gets it into Henry. Henry, over. What a pass to Shannon, and what an assist by Henry. Great team basketball right there. And I don't know what was called here. Somebody's going to check in. Somebody must have gotten hurt, so they called an official timeout. Comer's going to check in. Comer to Jenkins. Jenkins down low to Bearden. Bearden to Holbrook. Up, no good. Rebound by Henry. Great tip by Shannon. Down to Mayberry. Mayberry up and in. 60 to 39, 51 seconds left. Here comes Holmes. Holmes, spin move to the hoop. No good, but Jenkins is there for the rebound. Up, in and out, no good, but he rebounds again. We've got to get on the boards. Henry to Shannon. Shannon crosses the timeline. Shannon, and they call a travel on him. Coach O just yells words of encouragement. 60 to 41, 30 seconds. Here comes Holmes. To Marcus Holmes. Has a head fake. Gets it in. Kicks it out. Over to Holmes. Holmes stops, pops. 
Off the front iron, rebound Hallbrook. He elbows. No call. 60 to 43. Here comes Mayberry. Three seconds. Oh, what a pass in. Up. No good. And we miss a bunny right at the buzzer. Uh, what a dish by Mayberry. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. 60 to 43. We'll be back with fourth quarter of Panther basketball on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Forty-three as we start the fourth quarter. Holmes out front gets it to Hallbrook. Hallbrook gets it over to Jenkins in the corner. Jenkins back to Holmes. Holmes back to Jenkins. Jenkins into Cohen with four fouls. Cohen spins in the lane, shoots up, no good. But rebound by Hallbrook, and we've got to get a body on people. They've killed us on the offensive boards. That's the only place they've won tonight. 7.35 left, 60 to 45. Forsyth cutting into the lead. Ball's tipped out. Mayberry getting ready to inbound it in front of the scores table. Mayberry kicks it into Henry in the backcourt. Henry walks it up slowly. Henry over to Keeling. Keeling way out front, puts it on the floor, kicks it to, May to Peterson. Peterson's had a heck of a game. Down low to Keeling. What a dish. Up. Out, in and out, no good. Rebound Jenkins. Here comes Holmes. Holmes, stolen by Henry, and he's going to lay it in all by himself. What a, oh, he missed. He missed, and I don't know what happened there, but he's on the ground. And he's holding his legs, but missed a bunny there. 60 to 45. What a defensive play, and he blew the layup. I don't know if he was thinking about dunking it or what. Walls checks out. Bearden checks in. You got Cohen on the court. DeVries checks out. Carson Allen checks in for the Panthers. And you got Brody Emery checking in too. He checks in for Henry. Holmes has Emery on him. Back to Bearden. Bearden. Has Allen on him. Bearden puts it down, gets it to Holmes. Holmes over to Cohen. Cohen drives in. Down low to Bearden. Bearden, Mayberry with the steal. Here comes Brylan. Brylan. And they call a foul, I think, on Strahan. See who it's on. Yep, it's number three on Strahan. And they could call that all night, folks, as they're riding Mayberry up the court like a horse. Emory, I don't know what that was. Holmes on Mayberry. Mayberry kicks it out to Keeling. Keeling out front to Emory. Emory puts it on the floor over to Allen. Allen back to Keeling, out the top. Back to Mayberry. Mayberry behind the back. Spin move, and he is accosted on the, the and no call. They hit it out on Hallbrook. Goes out of bounds, but man, if that wasn't a foul, I don't know what was. Holmes triggers the inbounds for Forsyth. Hallbrook up, no good, but rebound by Cohen. We can't get an offensive rebound and a putback. 60 to 47. Here comes Keeling. Good pass down low to Peterson. Bam! 62-47, and the press ain't working. 
Here, come, here comes Strahan. He's cut off on the baseline. Gets it out to Holbrook. Holbrook runs over Keeling. They finally call a charge, the first one of the night. My goodness. I'll bet he plays football because that was a forearm shiver right there. Watch it. The film don't lie. Emery gets it in to Henry. Henry's checked back in. Henry's way out top, burning a little clock. You got Peterson, Mayberry, Henry, Emery. And that goes into Emery on the baseline. Emery up in traffic, and he's fouled. And who do they get? Cohen was down there. Oh, they get they give it. They give it to Hall uh, Hallbrook. Emery up with his first one. Bounces around, no good. 62-47, 5.33 left. Keeling's going to check out. Unger's going to check in with three fouls. Peterson with 17 points. Henry with 14. Mayberry with 12. That's what I like to see. Everybody scores. He hits his second one. Emery has four. Here comes Strahan. Strahan gets it to Holmes. Holmes shaking and baking. Gets it over to Walls. Walls goes low, puts it up and in. Here come the Panthers. Here comes Henry. Henry behind the back. Down low, he has Mayberry. Mayberry with a great move, and he's hammered and won. What a move by Brylon Mayberry underneath, and they get Cohen, and he's gone. What a move down low to get the fifth foul on Cohen. And the leading scorer for Forsyth is fouled out. Jenkins will come in. Cohen's gone. 5-10 remains. Fourth quarter, Mayberry at the line to get a three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Dribbles once, puts it up, and nothing but net. Here comes Walls, triggers it into Strahan. Strahan. Hallbrook wants the ball. Hallbrook, and man, I'm telling you what, this, this thing's physical. And now they call a foul on us. I mean, this is no different than the contact that our guards are getting when they have the basketball. Got to call it both ends, folks. Strahan kicks it out to Holbrook. Holbrook up. Oh, and they get Sam Peterson with a foul, and he's going to go to the line for a four-point play. My goodness. We have reverted back to the touchy fouls now. Totally different than what it's been all night. 66 to 52. Hallbrook goes for the four-point play, puts it up and in. 66 to 53. Bearden's going to check in for Walls. On the court for the Panthers is Emery, Henry, Mayberry, Unger, and Emery. They get it down to Unger. Unger kicks it out to Emery. Emery. Kicks it to Mayberry. Mayberry at the top of the key. He's hammered by Holmes. They get the call this time. 66-53, 442 left. Fourth quarter. Panthers trying to move to the semifinals of, the, of their tournament. The Family Pharmacy Panther Class, Classic. Foresight, the number two seed. Holmes with four himself. M <laughs> Mayberry misses the first. Carson Allen's going to check in for Peterson. Coach O doing a little coaching over there. And Mayberry misses his first, and we got a foul underneath. And I'll tell you what, this Forsyth bunch is a bunch of thugs. We're going to shoot it again as we have a lane violation or something. No. We have a foul on Jenkins underneath a push in the back. So Mayberry will shoot this one in and out. No good. And he'll shoot another one. He's missed three in a row.
Puts it up, rolls around and in. 67-53. DeVries is gonna check in. Mayberry's gonna go get a breather. With 442 left, he's played a whale of a game. Here comes Strahan. Gets it to Hallbrook. Hallbrook behind his back, has Unger all over him. Gets it to Holmes. Holmes drives in. They're gonna get a foul, and I think it's gonna be Carson Allen. Cohen fouled out, the leading scorer for Forsyth Panthers. Holmes at the line. Puts it up, and that was on Emory, I think. His third. 67-54, 420 left. Panthers got to keep on keeping on. Holmes makes the second. They get it to Emory. Emory has Holmes all over him. Gets it over to DeVries. DeVries gets it back to Emory. Emory looking for somewhere to go. Breaks the timeline. Gets it in. Drives all the way in. Up. No good. Rebound Jenkins. 12-point lead here. They get it to Holmes. Holmes to Hallbrook. Hallbrook has DeVries on him. Loses the basketball. Kicks it over to Strahan. Strahan up with a three. Nothing but net. And that cuts it to nine-point lead in Panthers. Take time out. And as they take time out, so will we on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. 4.01 left to go in the fourth quarter. Panthers have let Forsyth back in it. It's only a nine point lead. Panther basketball on the floor for the Panthers. Mayberry, Henry, Shannon, Keeling, and Peterson. We get it to Shannon. We got to make Chris pass over to Henry. Henry. Looking to break the timeline, gets it to Shannon. Over to Mayberry. A Mayberry looks, has it slapped, and he's fouled by Jenkins. And I mean, this has been physical. Been a physical game. 67 58. Mayberry at the line. He missed three of four. Let's hope, let's hope he's usually a very good free throw shooter. Puts it up and rolls it right over the front rim. 68-58. Maloney checks in. Strahan checks out. Walls is gonna check in. Bearden's gonna check out. Panthers with a 10 point lead. Mayberry up, nothing but net and it's 11. Here comes Holmes. Holmes gets it across the timeline, dribbles between his legs. Gets it way out top. They're trying to set screams. Hallbrook has it. Hallbrook over to Holmes. Holmes launches a three off the front iron. No good. Henry blocking it out, and it goes the Panther way. Mountain Grove. Mayberry hustles over to throw it in. Bearden. And Strahan come in for Walls and Maloney. Mayberry has it. He has Hallbrook on him. And no, we can't afford that. Lazy pass. Oh, and he's hammered. Bearden's hammered. And he'll go to the line and shoot three. And that's on Sam Peterson. And man, I'll tell you. Can't do that. 69-58, Bearden hasn't scored tonight. Puts up his first one off the front iron, no good. Score remains the same, 
three minutes and 17 seconds. Beard makes the second, makes it a 10 point game. Panthers are just going to have to take care of the basketball. Bearden puts in the third. And checking in is going to be another, is Maloney. He checks in. Mayberry gets it over to Henry. Henry gets it back to Mayberry. Mayberry gets it to Keeling. Keeling gets cut off on the baseline. Dangerous pass, gets it to Henry. Henry wide open in the lane, up, blows a bunny. Here comes Holmes, 69-60. Gets in the corner to Maloney, up, in and out, no good. Holmes gets the rebound, no good. Mayberry comes away with it somehow. Mayberry gets it in the timeline, they call a foul. And this has been physical, 69-60. Panthers trying to close it out. 2.46 left, Mayberry at the free throw line. I mean, if you stop to celebrate, somebody would blow right by and lay it in. Mayberry up with his first and in. The senior, 70-60. Henry and Shannon are back half court as Mayberry completes it makes two 71 60 got to hit your free throws down the stretch Holmes launches a three nothing but net cuts it to eight gets it to Shannon Shannon looking for somebody to go picks it up we got to get it across there's Henry Henry puts it up with his left hand no good but rebound by Peterson Great rebound by Sam. Mayberry puts it up and in, and he's fouled. Maloney gets him, and how Brylin made that, I do not know. Holy cow. That was a prayer. Brylin willed it in, 73-63. Brylin with 22 on the night. Make it 23, make it an 11-point lead. Unger checks in for Shannon. Unger will get after you defensively. Here comes Holmes. Holmes has Mayberry on him, gets it over to Maloney. Maloney puts it up, nothing but net. They're hitting their threes now. And they call timeout. As they take timeout, so will we on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. here with 2.04 left. Forsyth that's decided to get hot from the three-point line all of a sudden. Panthers trading twos for threes. They just got to keep control of the basketball. They can't turn it over. On the court for the Panthers here with two minutes and four seconds left. Brylan Mayberry, Peyton Shannon, Bradley Henry, Trace DeVries, Sam Peterson, they get it into Henry. Henry, he's going to bring Hallbrook up, beats him up the floor. Henry pulls it out. Hallbrook trying to find him, fouling. Shannon gets it to Mayberry. Mayberry has Strahan on him. Wings puts it in, up, no good, that tip. Forsyth has it, and a travel by Maloney. What good defense there by Henry to cause that traveling. 144 left. This thing's going to the wire, folks. If you're not here, you missed a good one. Hope you're watching. Henry has it in the backcourt. Slowly dribbles up. I, I think we try to 
burn some clock. And he has it blocked. It's going to be a wide open layup for Strahan, and that cuts it to six. We got to take care of the basketball. Henry breaks the press, gets it in. No good, and he blew another one. Here comes Holmes, only a six point lead. Maloney, he's been hot. No good, tipped out. Strahan has it, fires, no good. Rebound by Mayberry, he's been everywhere, and he's hammered by Strahan. Foul called. Six point Panther lead, 106 left. Man, give us about the nine layups we've missed tonight. Holy cow. Mayberry goes the line. Six point lead, 106 left, 74 68. Up with the first one, nothing but net. Keeling, Unger, Emery check in. You got Sam Peterson as well. He puts up a second, rolls around and goes down. Back to an eight point lead. Here comes Holmes. Holmes has Mayberry on him. Head fake, up, no good. Rebound, they've killed us on the offensive board. Strahan hits a three, cuts it to five. We gotta get it in. He gets it to Mayberry. Mayberry gets it across. Mayberry pulls it out. Coach calling the deals. They try to foul him. Gets it over to Keeling. Keeling, oh, oh no. And it goes in to Holbrook and scores. And a three point lead. And man, we turned it over when we shouldn't have. And there's timeout. As they take a timeout with 31 seconds with a a three-point game. We'll send it to the studio for a word from our sponsors on the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Sports, Big Country 99, 76-73, the Panthers. Uh, totally giving it away. Forsyth has gotten hot at the right time, hitting some big threes. We got to get on that offensive board, on the defensive boards. They are getting second and third shots. Peyton Shannon's going to inbound. You got Shannon, Henry, Mayberry, Peterson, and DeVries, Henry gets it across the timeline. Henry hits it to Shannon. Shannon's fouled by Strahan and that'll be five on him. With 21 seconds and he's fouled out, him and Cohen. So you got Maloney, Jenkins, Hallbrook, Bearden, and Holmes for Forsyth. You got Shannon, Henry, Keeling, up, in, and down. Shannon hits a huge one. Four-point lead. Keeling and Mayberry switch spots as Mayberry goes to the backcourt. 21 seconds left, four-point lead, two-possession game. Puts up a second, off, no good. Hallbrook, he has Keeling on him. Behind the back, he goes in, kicks it out to Jenkins. Jenkins, no good, but Hallbrook with a rebound. Fade away, no good. And a foul over the back, and let's see who they get on this one. Eight seconds left, four-point lead for the Panthers. That's the fourth on Hallbrook. Man, this has been wild and fast and furious. Holy cow. Plus, it doesn't do good for your blood pressure. You go from a 13, 15 point lead down to three with 30 seconds left. 
Off the back iron by Gatlin. No good. Still a four-point game with eight seconds left. Unger checks in. Unger, Henry, Mayberry, Keeling, and Peterson. Second one goes in. Makes it a five-point game. Here comes Holmes. He goes all the way coast to coast and lays it in. Forsyth calls timeout. Forsyth calls a timeout. And as they call timeout, so we'll take one, too. Send it back to the studio on the home of Panther basketball, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on the home of Panther Sports. And 2.8 seconds left. Panthers trying to cling to a 78-75 lead. <coughs> and this thing shouldn't have even been close. As the Panthers have played their best basketball of the season by far tonight for three quarters and five minutes. And... Uh, the last two or three minutes have not been what I'd say been pitcher perfect, but we've got a we've got a three-point lead. We've got to inbound the ball and make our foul shots. Down to Henry. Henry, and he's fouled by Holbrook. And with 0.7 seconds, if Henry makes one of these, that's gonna do it. And hey, kudos to Forsyth for not giving up as they have just kept coming back and coming back. Henry at the line, three-point lead. Keeling checks in, Unger checks in. Mayberry on the court, Peterson on the court. Henry at the line. Comer checks in just for the second time tonight. Henry puts up the first. Off the back iron, no good. Seven tenths of a second left. Needs to make one. Henry dribbles once, puts it up, nothing but net. And that's a two possession game. Just let them score. Just let them score. And they throw it over the basket and that's a Panther win, 79 to 75. And the Panthers knock off the two seed Forsyth Panthers and go to the semifinals. And they'll play Saturday, or excuse me, they'll play Thursday night at 8.30. Nothing like being up late. We'll be back with the post-game show and talk to Coach O, see how excited he is. On the home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. 